Welcome back to the Simchler now open. We are in top four. It is Halloween today, which is why I am dressed like this. We are going to have the last sort of challenge of the season. All the remaining Simchlers will go on a date and we will decide who has the best one and who has the worst one will be going home and next week is the finale if you can believe it after all of these weeks we are finally at the finale episode i am really excited to see what ends up happening at the end of this so let's jump in to the simpler now open it is currently a friday it is late at night Everyone is back at the uh, Simchler Mansion. This is partially the group I thought was going to make it. Poor Micah. <laughs> Just pass it all the way out in that bush. The jungle really did him in. I had a feeling that Papa was going to be here. I didn't think that Papa was going to be woohooing with himself all the time. But I had a feeling that Papa would be here. I really didn't think that Jared Bussy was going to be here at this point. I'm kind of surprised that they made it this far. I'm not surprised that Sage is here. I think I expected Sage to make it this far. I had hoped that Har would be here, but I also hoped that Har would have been doing better in general. In the morning, we're gonna go ahead and send Papa on a date. This is the very last opportunity for someone to pull ahead. And the two that really need a win is Papa and Har. We haven't gone to the cafe with Papa before, and we'll see how this goes. So right now, the two of them are in, they're in a romanceless sexual relationship. Once they decided to become friends with benefits, I think it really turned up the volume for what Papa was doing. But I just don't, I don't know if he can pull ahead. I mean, look at them go. The, the sexual compatibility that they have, I'm not doing anything here. They have so much sexual compatibility. They just keep going at it. <laughs> they said, we don't care that we're in public. We're young. We're hot. We both have huge dump trucks. Let's just mac out in the middle of this street. And let's talk about cheese and salami. I just don't know if it's too late to pull ahead and be a romantic partner. Mike is calling up a friend. He's bored on his date. You have a man with big tits here. If this man was interested in me in any capacity, I'd be grabbing those hunkers all the time. Let me touch those coconuts. More kissing. More making out. I really don't want them to break up, though. I think them together is spicy. But do they have any interest in each other beyond physical? And is that okay if that's all that it is? They're walking away. They have both have very high sexual desires for each other. To a tunnel? Hello? Whoa! This is really cool. Are the two of them just nonchalantly going over to the chessboard area to do woohoo stuff? Oh, they're going in a bush. That one looks like a vibrator. Oh, they're done. Papa is feeling completely satisfied. Titulating banter and hot and heavy. While uh, he's also feeling like he made a good friend. Out of one out of ten, I think that the date itself was like fine. I mean, they hooked up in front of the butt plug chest pieces so like because right now we're evaluating their full compatibility with each other as as a couple i would say that their like couple power mm, is like a five i don't see it ever progressing beyond really good mouth stuff five out of ten jer's next let's go to the beach light that fire baby Oh, Jer's feeling very flirty right now. Now that they're out of the jungle, Jer seems to be in a slightly better mood. I felt like the jungle was not Jer's vibe at all. You make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. A child? Because I don't want you here. Not them immediately taking a selfie. Look at their umbrella. I think because you're ruining everybody's mood right now, you're making literally everyone uncomfortable, Max. I am so sorry. I also need to send you to hell. Micah's up here with another child. Why are there childs here? There should not be childs here. Sim torments. <laughs> that little brat just extended. Now her weave is snatched ball. She might be bald, and she might have gotten stressed out like Mike TV. 
but she looks sickening. I think they're cute. Do you say good things about me? Jer asks Tamika. Nope. What do you mean, no? <laughs> that was kind of bad. That turned the mood sour. Their friendship went down so low, right? That was bad. Look at their friendship right now. It's, it's, it's getting worse. This date turned sour fast. Micah kind of started it by saying, no, I don't say good stuff about you. And then he's just over here farting like he's so gross. Micah is secretly jealous about everything that's going on. Is that what it really is? Jared's like, that's not what we got in this relationship for. This is a reality show about everybody trying to date you. And so if you're jealous about a multiple relationships, you're the one who should talk. As far as a date, they despise each other now. Uh, oh, wow. There's no recovering that. At the end of this, that was probably the worst. I think their compatibility as a couple is completely awful. I don't think they could ever make it work long term. Micah is now going to ask out Sage. Let's go to Brindleton. There are doggos here. Let's go to the dog park. Here they are on their very last date. They are showing Micah some very casual thigh pics that they took. Not full, like, booty pics. Micah's not feeling it. Micah is really flopping. I feel like at this point, Micah's going to end up alone. Maybe the thing is, is that maybe he's not that good of a partner. Maybe after all this time, we're finally realizing that Micah is just not someone that's good at dating. Maybe he's just one of those people that's so hot. He's never really had to try. He just always gets what he wants. Hold on to your horses. Micah's trying too hard. Micah wants to go get Starbies. Like I said, it's cold brew time and time to pound down. Ah, but Sage has to go to the bathroom. Is that Nina Caliente? She's just sitting there vibing, hanging out, and then gets struck by lightning. <laughs> She's just getting zapped back there. And Chelsea McRae said, that's not my problem. That's not my drama. That's not my circus. That's not my monkeys. Is that her sister? Is that Dina Caliente? Oh, look, she's on fire. Look, oh no. Her name is Caliente after all. I'm going to be honest. I do feel bad for Jer. But you know who does have secret good chemistry? That I'm not ready to talk about yet. Just out of blind curiosity, production's gonna do something left out of left field. Har, where are where are you at? Let's go somewhere completely unique. Somewhere we have not gone before. Har is feeling it. Har is very much into this. Micah has been getting his neck smooched on all day. Where did he get that rose from? They're pulling roses out of nowhere. They're like, I had this between my legs, and I'm going to give this to you now. Oh, she's grouchy. Does she not like gays? You're in the wrong game if you're a homophobe. Let's go and order drinks. Ew, she doesn't want to do her job. That's what she's being grouchy about. You know what? I don't like your attitude. I think you're kind of rude. You're working. And now you're not. The dates today have been full of murder. But Har right now is feeling a very high sexual desire. Har's bored. Oh, look, a replacement bartender has come in. She seems much nicer, but she does seem tired. She got the call last minute to come in, even though she wasn't supposed to come in until probably around midnight. They were like, hey, Francine Spencer, can you please come in a couple hours early? Your coworker got crushed by a piano from God. And honestly, at this point, we just can't afford to not have somebody working at the bar. Can you please go in and just make sure that everybody's all right? Just make some drinks. Bring up the atmosphere again. We've got the budget for it, and we lost an entire employee, so we will need you to cover up a shift. So if you don't mind coming in on Saturday as well, I know that was your PTO day, but we will be giving you that day as well if, if, you, if you want it. And Grim Reaper wants to try and help too. Grim's like... Hey, uh, so I watched The Simchler, and I think the goal is to chat with the dates, not with random girlies at the bar. Har's feeling a very high sexual desire, but Micah doesn't really seem to be feeling the same way. Oh my god. 
Agatha Crumple Bottom came in here, kicked boxing the crap out of this bar patron. <laughs> God, the crumble bottoms are the actual worst people. Cannot stand the crumble bottoms. I think they're evil incarnate. Oh look, Jer's here, waiting for Micah. Everyone's upstairs, because now that it's the very end of the show, they all know that they're in jeopardy of getting sent home. And the only one who's probably safe out of all the dates is Sage. Who do we think's gonna win the whole thing? It's really feeling like it could be Sage's game. I feel like Papa has a slight chance of getting to the end. So two of our Sims have been developing a secret relationship with each other. Throughout the show, these two have been secretly seeing each other, but production is aware of it and has been letting it go on until this time because we wanted to see if it would continue or end. And it's time to see what the tea is, because if the two of them are going to be pursuing Micah, one of them a little more seriously than the other, we need to find out what the seriousness of this relationship is. When I discovered that the two of them were talking on the side, my first thought was, what if the two of them ended up hitting it off well what would be what would happen with the rest of the competition will the two of them attempt to try and be together does that mean that papa wins by default because there's no way that har could win next week the two of them are really cute together though i think they've got fun energy jer being like kind of a a husky nb little bit like little awkward sage being a plant gay being super fuzzy i can see the two of them being very cute parents together and they would have a daughter probably and she'd be a really fierce lesbian i could see a lot uh, of really cool stuff for for their life going forward who wins if two people are eliminated that means that it's going to be har and papa that are left their relationship went up high on its own, on the side, completely outside of my control. And I do like the two of them together. I feel like this is worth exploring at least for one more week. It'll be up to Micah on what Micah wants. He did say that he wants to have an exclusive relationship with Jer, but didn't say anything about that to Sage. So is he fine having that type of open relationship with Sage, just not with Jer? Which leads me to believe that Micah might be less into the idea of Sage and more into Jer. This week, the person who will be going home and will not be going into the top three Sims based off of tonight's overall body of work, overall amount of eggplants, is... Har next. Har will not be moving on to the final episode. I think that Har played a really great game. I think that Har did a really great thing here at the house. And I think that Har has a lot to offer. I just don't think that what has happened between Har and Micah has enough substance to guarantee that they'd be happy long term. But as always, thank you for watching yet another episode of The Sims Are Now Open. Who are you rooting for for next week? Honestly, I'm rooting for Papa. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to click that like button. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Goodbye.